One community is cleaning up their business district one brush stroke at a time. About 20 businesses on South Grand were vandalized during last night's protest. News Channel 5's Elizabeth Matthews joins us from the Tower Grove South area where artists helped clean up the damage. And tonight, there are more protesters out there. Liz? That's right, guys. We are on South Ground, uh, South Grand, excuse me, near Grand and Arsenal. If you see behind me, there's uh, this group. They kind of started uh, forming that little group about 10 minutes ago or so. So they're on the corner, very peaceful. Uh, they have some musical instruments over there. Really, no police presence at this point, other than some police units driving up and down the road. But take a look at this. Earlier today, there was a call put out on social media for artists to come out and help clean up the community, and they answered that call. It starts with the board. And ends with the paint. Monday night, businesses on South Grand were targets of vandalism. Tuesday was a different scene. It's been chaos, and some nice is it's good to see. Ray Rask's sister owns Bikram Hot Yoga Midwest. Their storefront wasn't damaged, but just in case, they're now boarding up. They just showed up and started painting. They said, Can we paint your boards? They said, Absolutely. Megan and Pelizzari, a local art teacher who had the day off due to the violence, tackled one board at the yoga studio. A really hopeful thing during kind of a sad, divided time. And across Grand, another teacher, Aaron Dickerson, also with a free afternoon. It's impressive to see all these people coming out. There's a lot of people. South Grand was lined with painters and artists of a different type. This poet meets you in the street, sits down with his typewriter, and creates a poem, especially for you. Homage to our illusions. Give us our genuine togetherness. I call it psychedelic word art um, or poetry, also known as poetry. Many people thanking these artists for their time as they pass by, hoping the art will help. Dickerson says he hopes to teach his students a lesson. Sometimes they let you paint on walls for free. And you don't get in trouble for it. And a lot of the artists were able to finish their artworks out here today, but we did talk to some that said that they will be back tomorrow to finish up their masterpieces. As for, again, the situation here, we've got about 20 or so protesters on the street. Very peaceful tonight. They're not in the street at all. We'll continue to monitor this situation. Reporting live tonight, Elizabeth Matthews, News Channel 5.